Hi, welcome to another edition of Ambassador's Corner, sponsored by the Glenwood Springs Chamber Resort Association and U.S. Bank. I'm Rolf Hermanson, and I'm here with Dennis and Barbara from Alpine Hospice. How are you guys doing? We're great. We're Thank great. You. Thank you for having us today. Hey, great. Thanks. Well, we're here to talk about Alpine Hospice and what you guys do. So um, what is Alpine Hospice? Alpine Hospice is really a philosophy of care. We really bring the care into the community for people that have a life-limiting illness. That's what hospice does. And life-limiting, what, what is that? Life-limiting is an illness that would uh, cause somebody to pass usually within six months. Okay. And um, do you do things here in the building, or do you do it in their homes, or where, where do you do this? We actually take our care mobily out into the community. So we work with uh, not just patients, but patients' families in the community, whether they're at their own home, whether they're at assisted living, a skilled nursing facility. We really take the care to them with the goal of keeping them where they're at in their home and managing their symptoms. Okay, and um, tell me a little bit about the background about uh, Alpine Hospice. Alpine Hospice has been here about three years in this community, and we just recently re relocated to this building about eight months ago. Okay. And do they, where, one, where are you located, and how do people get in contact with you? Yep, we're located uh, locally here in Glenwood Springs is our office. We're at 1517 Blake Avenue, and we're Suite 100B. You're able to get a hold of us via the phone. We actually have two different options. The first one is probably the simplest to remember, and that is 1-800-HOSPICE. Um, the other phone number you can get a hold of us locally is 970-945-1475. So you go into the home, and you'll help counsel or and talk to, but do you do other things around the house for the, the patient and the family? Yes, we um, provide physical care for the patient, but we also can do light meal preparation, light housekeeping, companionship. We have a volunteer program where volunteers can sit with a hospice patient and um, provide companionship, read to them, do crossword puzzles, watch a TV show for that matter. Great. And how is this taken care of financially? Yeah, financially it's taken care of under their uh, Medicare benefit. That's most of, of the payer sources through Medicare, so they don't have to worry about anything. If they don't have Medicare um, and they have Medicaid, Medicaid will take care of it. If they don't have that, private insurance actually will take care of it. And if they don't have any insurance at all and they're considered indigent, we can still take the, the patient as well. Okay, good. Well, it sounds like it's very caring, and it does a lot, lot for people who are not only terminally ill but for their families. Um, anything you'd like to add to what we've talked about so far? I just would like to say that this, is, this model of care is about quality at the end of life for all folks, and it's a very valuable service that people should not be afraid of engaging in. I think they'll find it beneficial for them for their lifetime. Good. I guess another thing, too, is the people that work with the, the patients and the family, they're, they're not just people off the street. They're licensed and trained and such, correct? What kind of training do they have? All of our um, RNs are end-of-life um, certified. We also have licensed practical nurses, certified nursing assistants as well, social worker, and chaplains. Okay, so registered nurses and then volunteers, they're trained as well. That is correct. And if, you, if they want to volunteer, they can contact you if they want to get into something like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We would be glad to have them. We love our volunteers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So if there's nothing else to add, thank you again for joining us for another edition of Bachelor's Corner. This is Rolf Hermanson with U.S. Bank. Thanks, and have a great day.